Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. Welcome back to our channel. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. And in this video, I would like to talk about asparagus. Asparagus is our favorite vegetable to grow. Here's our little bed of asparagus that we started several years ago from seed that's called Mary Washington. It's pretty popular among gardeners. Before I planted anything here, I prepared the bed by mixing compost, some cow manure, and some potting soil, I believe, straight into the ground because asparagus stays in the same bed for several years so I wanted to make sure that this bed has all the nutrients is fluffy enough and good for asparagus to grow by about middle of summer and beginning of fall asparagus grows real tall and starts flopping over everywhere and for that reason we set up these t posts they're not very tall and then I still need to uh, put some wire around it the old wire got broken so the wire supports the asparagus and it doesn't sprawl all over the ground we're in late January right now and as you can see our asparagus started growing which is way earlier than last year last year it started growing in the beginning of April because of mild winter you can see that some of them have gotten really tall and it's ready to be harvested. Earlier this month I spread some manure and garden soil on top just to feed the asparagus for the season and also I've been watering it because we've had a dry winter season and it really benefited from all that because it's growing nicely and I would like to talk about how to harvest asparagus. A lot of gardening websites and a lot of gardeners say that asparagus needs to be harvested when it's about this high from the ground and then you kind of just snap it close to the ground and that's the best time to harvest. Well, I've discovered that actually it's better to let your asparagus grow a little bit taller, like this one, for example. Even though it looks tall, it's still good to be eaten and it's still tender and the flavor is good. As long as asparagus isn't growing all these green leaves and branches, it's good to be harvested. So, for example, with this one, I just snap off a pretty long spear and since this is homegrown, it's going to be tender and the ends don't need to be chopped. And after I harvest asparagus, I let the main stalks keep growing and they grow new branches and leaves and through that, the root in the ground keeps getting stronger. A few summers in the past, our weather was really hot and it killed a couple of asparagus roots. You can see that there and there. There are some bare spots. I'm going to find some seedlings around the backyard. I'll see if I can transplant them into these spots and that way I'll get some free asparagus roots. Several feet away from our main asparagus bed, I discovered this little asparagus seedling sitting right here. My guess is that a bird or wind brought the seed here and it just germinated on its own and now we have a free asparagus seedling. This is its second year and I'm hoping that by next year or maybe in a couple of years we'll be able to harvest asparagus from it. So I'm going to dig it up and put in a little pod and I'm going to get as much dirt as I can to not disturb the roots and then we'll move it into the main asparagus bed. Okay so this is our asparagus seedling that I dug up and you can see that there are a lot of uh, tree roots mixed up with the seedling roots and the seedling roots actually look pretty good so I'm just going to throw away those and we'll move it to our main asparagus bed. Since I already fertilized this garden bed I'm just simply going to dig a hole and put that little seedling into the hole. Okay, this is the old asparagus root that died last summer, I think. So I'm just going to throw it in the compost pile and I'm going to take the new one and I'm simply going to stick it into the hole like that and cover it with the soil. Not very deep, just like that. And I'll pat down the soil just to make sure that the roots are in contact with the soil. And then I'll water it and it should be growing fine. Asparagus is one of the easiest vegetables to grow. It keeps coming back year after year. And we encourage you to start growing asparagus. We hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you in our next one. Bye-bye.